What's up guys, it's Otsas from iOS SoftModder and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the old icons back onto your iOS 7 device. So if you don't like the iOS 7 icons, which you can see right here, you can actually change your icons back to the old iOS 6 devices or even just add a custom image for your icon instead. A lot of people have been hating on the new design. I actually kind of like it, but if you don't, you do have this option. So the first thing you're going to want to do is we're going to when I, on our phone, not on a computer or a laptop, on our phone, we're going to go to iCustomTollyphone. So it's iCustom.tolliphone.net. The link will obviously be in the tutorial, so you can check that out. You're just going to click on that, and it'll take you to the home page. And on the home page, we're going to scroll to just start now. I'm going to hit start now. And then we're going to go and select the application. So here, where it says all, we'll, we'll actually leave that. And then choose application. In this window, we're going to choose the application. So I am going to change the App Store back to the old App Store icon. So we're going to have to obviously find the icon. So since I don't have, I do have it saved, but you basically want to just Google search the icon and then save it to your phone. It's pretty simple. So just Google search iOS 6 App Store icon. You'll find it, save the image to your phone, or you can copy the URL, URL and then you can just paste it in here. But I think saving the image is just a lot easier. So we're just going to go to choose file, choose existing, go to my camera roll, it's right here, select that, it'll upload, and then we'll hit let's go. The generation process should take a couple seconds. It'll say it's generated successfully, and then we're going to hit open pop-up. It'll pop up, obviously, and if you have a pop-up blocker, you're going to want to disable that. Now it'll say tap here, you don't have to tap there. It's kind of a little gimmick to get people to click on his, um, some ad that he has there. But here, says you're almost done all you're gonna need to do is add it to your home screen so we'll scroll down which is kind of annoying and then this will pop up it's the middle icon we're gonna hit that and then hit add to home screen it'll give you a preview of your old new icon and then we're just gonna name it so obviously I'm gonna name this App Store I can name it App Store 2 but I'll just name it App Store I know which one's which and then I can hit return or add. So I'll just hit return. And then it'll take me here. And here's my new icon. And I can just drag it right next to the iOS 7 icon. And there you have the iOS 6 icon. So you can just hide this in a folder because obviously you can't, you can't delete the um, default icons. But you can hide it in a folder. You can just drag it to somewhere where you don't need to see it. And you can just do that for each and every single one of the icons if you really, really, really hate the iOS 7 um, icons. So there you have it. You can also upload custom images. They don't have to be, obviously, um, iOS, iOS 6 images. You could have an image of Holly Berry that you really like. That could be your App Store icon. You just do the same process. Google search the image, upload it, and then save it to your home screen. So that's really it. Check out the full tutorial on iOS SoftModder. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.